Auto sales in Florida plummeted in the last few months and across the country. And while that drop will, of course, weaken state revenue even further, Capital Reporter Forrest Saunders tonight shows us how the industry's rebound eventually will actually benefit you. While a pandemic doesn't seem like the best time to buy a new car, Brenda Nova would have to disagree with you. That's what we're here for. Aiming for a good price on a good car. She's one of the first few trying to capitalize on what's looking like a great time to buy. Yep, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> that's why we're here today. After mid-March virus protections dropped vehicle sales to 2008-2009 auto crisis levels. People saving more and spending less, cutting business by up to 50% across the state's more than 800 dealerships last month. That's according to the Florida Automobile Dealers Association. Many staying afloat, it says, on lease terminations and collision replacements. Scary for my dealers, very scary for Florida. Florida's economy. Ted Smith heads the group. Fewer sales, he says, means less revenue for Florida. Auto purchases are about $4 billion or 14% of the state's annual sales tax dollars. I think that we're going to be okay if Floridians realize that uh, the economy is improving, people are able to go back to work. It's all about consumer confidence. To boost that confidence, the industry is driving in a new direction, putting more emphasis on online sales. I mean, I think people are feel comfortable with it now. You know, they're kind of forced into it. Tallahassee dealer Chuck it, Urban so I... did 10% of his sales online last year. He's expecting COVID-19 will spike that number higher. I think it's going to be uh, an easy uh, transition for us to uh, do a lot more business that way. Dealerships also offering a slew of deals to entice buyers back. The auto buying experts at Edmonds say customers can expect more chances for 0% financing. In April, a fourth of all sales offered it compared to just 5% in March. Average interest rates have dropped too, down 25% for new vehicles from March to April. It's always good to get an early start. Yep, especially with the economy now, prices are going down. The auto industry may have hit the skids, but Nova's hoping the consumer bump that follows is her key to a new car. At the Capitol, Forest Saunders, ABC Action News. So here's the bottom line on this one. The bad news for the auto industry could be good news for you. Auto sales slumped over the last two months. It will likely impact Florida's budget. Consumers, though, will benefit with ease of online sales and major deals out there. Some of the best include employee pricing, delayed payments, and reduced interest rates.